Namaste. Today, I share with you a creative, fluid yoga practice that brings strength, vitality, and flexibility in the body while bringing the mind into a calm and relaxed state. We connect the body, mind, and spirit. This is yoga. This particular practice offers a special emphasis on the shoulders and back. Some of the sequences move rather quickly, linking breath with the movements. Give yourself time to get to know this practice. Beginning in thunderbolt pose, sit on the heels with a tall spine, close your eyes, breathe through the nose. Begin to take slow, deep, full breaths as you set an intention. Slowly move into child's pose, bow down, forehead to the mat, arms at the sides, palms facing up. Breathing deeply, begin to sway the hips softly from side to side. And roll the forehead. Slowly stretch the arms by the ears, walk the fingertips towards the front of the mat, stretch. And then inhale to your hands and knees. And exhale slowly round and float back into child's pose. Again, inhale, come up to the hands and knees, lower the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round, float back into child's pose. One more time, linking breath with the movement. Inhale to the hands and knees, lower the belly, arch the back. Exhale, ground the palms, round the spine up, and float back to child's pose. Inhale slowly to the hands and knees. Now this time, exhale, feet to the right, head to the right. Feel that gentle stretch, so look back at your feet. Inhale, come back to center, neutral spine. And exhale, feet swivel to the left, head looks back at the feet. Inhale, center. And then exhale, we're gonna just reposition a little bit and we begin, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread your arm and lower your left ear down. Inhale, back up and exhale, release. Now to the other side, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, thread it through, lower your right ear. Inhale, right arm up and exhale, palm down. Now we'll do it three times. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, thread, left ear down. Inhale, back up, feel the twist. Exhale, thread. Inhale, up, stretch. Exhale, thread. Inhale, back up. And exhale, lower the hand down, grounding both palms. Other side, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, up. And exhale, thread. Inhale, up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, up and exhale, release, grounding your palms. Good. Now we're just gonna circle the body. So slowly, we're gonna inhale and come up and circle right, and exhale as you come back and circle left. So close your eyes and just let the movement be free and fluid. And slowly circle the other direction, taking your time. enjoy the movement enjoy the breath enjoy this time and inhale back to center and exhale let's take it back into child's pose breathe now inhale back to your hands and knees and we're gonna exhale and come onto our forearms. Interlace your fingers. We'll move into a real warm up flow. Inhale into forearm plank. Exhale, walk your feet forward as your buttocks come up to the sky. Dolphin pose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale it down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale it down. 
Inhale, left leg up. Exhale it down. Inhale, walk the feet back. Come back into forearm plank, belly strong. Exhale, lower your knees down, release your toes, lower the lower part of your belly. Now inhale to Sphinx Pose, spread your fingers. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Inhale it back to center. Exhale it to the left. Inhale to center. And exhale, lower your forehead down, place your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, come into Cobra. And exhale, Child's Pose. To know the flow, we move again. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, lower to the forearms. Inhale, forearm plank, work the core. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale it down. Inhale, forearm plank, belly firm. Exhale, release your knees, relax your toes. Inhale into Sphinx. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, head turns left. Inhale, center. And exhale, forehead down, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Child's Pose. One more time, inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, forearms to the ground. Inhale, forearm plank. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, right leg stretches up. Exhale, lower the right leg down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale it down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, down. Inhale, forearm plank. And exhale, lower. Release your toes. Inhale, spread the fingers. Come into Sphinx Pose. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, head to the left. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, hands under the shoulders, forehead comes down. Now inhale, come up. This time we're gonna do a twisting cobra. Exhale, head turns to the, to the right. Left shoulder comes forward. Inhale to center. And then exhale, turn your head to the left with your right shoulder moving slightly forward. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, float into child's pose. Release on down. Stay with the breath. Inhale, round yourself up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your head, arch your back, and exhale into downward facing dog. So in our down dog, let's make sure we activate the pads of the hands, the palms of the hands, spread your fingers, ground your heels, working your heels down towards the mat. Release any weight in the head, so shake the head no, nod the head yes. And just really tune into your body as you slowly melt into this pose. Maybe walking it out, alternating, bending the right leg and straightening the left. Maybe moving the hips a little. Just enjoy this pose. So many benefits, a beautiful pose. And then inhale, slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet. And exhale, release the head down, moving into a forward fold, Uttanasana. And sway the body as softly as you'd like from side to side or front to back with the arms or just bring the body into stillness. Now 
bend the knees softly and with an inhale, slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart, staying connected to the breath, honoring this pose, this practice, this time. Slowly release your arms to your side, step your right foot forward, turn your left toes out just slightly, inhale, interlace your hands behind your back, open your chest, and then exhale, reach as you fold forward, folding over your right leg. So this is called intense side stretch or Parjvottanasana. Breathe into any areas of tightness and then with an inhale, rise with a flat back, open the chest, open the throat and exhale, slowly release your arms, step your right foot forward, turn your palms forward just enjoy all of the magic, all of the benefits, all of the prana moving through the body. Other side, so moving to the front of the mat, step your left foot forward, inhale, interlace your fingers behind your back and stretch chest open. And exhale, lengthen the spine as you fold forward over the left leg. Stretch your arms, stay with the breath. Breathe to any areas of tightness. Feel that tension dissolving with the breath. With an inhale, rise nice and slow, flat back. And exhale, release your arms. Step your right foot forward. Bring the hands into prayer. So now we should be at the front of the mat. Spend a few breaths here, eyes closed, just really connected. Inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky and exhale, forward fold, release your head down. Inhale, spine ripples, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, step back to plank, lower to the knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. In down dog, take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale. Inhale, look forward between your hands. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, step or jump, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Come up with a flat back and exhale, hands to the heart. So this is Surya Namaskar A, and we'll continue. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, forward fold, release the head down. Inhale, spine ripples, come onto the fingertips, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale into plank and lower down, either caterpillar pose or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Work the heels down, take a deep inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale, step or jump, come into a flat back Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release and fold. Inhale, root to rise, circle the arms out and up and exhale, draw the hands to the heart in prayer. Again, inhale, arms float up, stretch. Exhale, open, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plank, and slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog, heels down. Inhale, nice complete exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more, inhale, glide the hands, fingers and arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back to plank and lower down. Inhale, slide into cobra or upward facing dog. Using the core muscles, exhale into down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump, flat back. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. And exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Anjali Mudra. Close the eyes. Breathe. your arms to your sides, palms facing forward in mountain pose. And we'll move into another creative, fun eagle flow. So inhale, stretch your hands and fingers open. And then exhale, softly draw your hands to your heart in prayer mudra. Inhale, open your arms to your sides in a T like you're spreading your wings. And then exhale, arms lower in front of you, right arm crosses on top. Inhale, take eagle arms, and then exhale, bend your knees round your spine as you bring your elbows towards your uh, belly. Inhale, back up, elbows tilting up towards the sky, and then exhale, release your arms. Palms facing forward again. Inhale, stretch your hands and arms. Exhale, softly bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Inhale, spread your wings, bring your arms back, open your chest. Exhale, this time left arm crosses on top. Inhale, stretch in eagle pose, our arms up, elbows up, and exhale round, elbows down towards the belly, head down. Inhale to standing, elbows pointing towards the sky, and then exhale, softly float the arms down. Again, inhale, stretch your arms, hands, and fingers. Exhale, soften. Inhale, spread your wings. Exhale, arms lower, right arm crosses in front. Inhale, eagle arms, stretch. Exhale, round, elbows coming in, lower your head, bend your knees. Inhale, back up. And exhale, softly float the arms down. One more, inhale, stretch your hands and fingers. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, spread your wings. Exhale, left arm crosses on top. Inhale, eagle arms. Exhale, round. Inhale, back up, elbows pointing to the sky. And then exhale, float the arms down, palms forward. Close your eyes and breathe. triangle and revolved triangle. So first, step your right foot back, turn your right toes out to the side, square your hips to the right, and inhale, arms up. Exhale, windmill your arms, left arm down, right arm up. Palms facing to the right, shoulders stacked. Engage the core, lengthen the spine, breathe through the nose. And inhale, slowly come up, look over your left fingertips. Exhale, release your arms down. Now step your back foot in just a little and square the hips to the front. Inhale, right arm comes up. And then exhale, reach forward as you fold forward and twist, bringing your right arm to the outside of your left foot. Left arm up to the sky. Breathe deep into the belly, enjoy the twist. And then slowly fold over your left leg breaths here. Slowly place your hands on your hips and with an inhale rise up with a flat back. Exhale relax the arms, step your right foot forward. Take a few deep breaths here. And we'll move to the other side so the left foot steps back, toes turned out, hips square left. Inhale arms up, right arm stretching forward. And then exhale, 
right arm down, left arm up, shoulders stack, core engaged, lengthen the spine. Enjoy this pose, I love this pose. Inhale, come up nice and slow, gaze over your front fingertips. Exhale, float your arms down. Step your back foot forward, square the hips to the front. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. And then exhale, stretch forward as you fold and twist. So left hand comes to the outside of the right foot. Right arm stretches to the sky. Breathe down into the belly and enjoy this revolved triangle. Paravrita Trikonasana. Good, release the right arm down as you pivot your body and fold over your front leg. Enjoy this stretch. Place the hands on the hips. And with an inhale, rise slow with a flat back. Exhale, release the arms. Step your back foot forward. Come into mountain pose. Close the eyes and breathe. Inhale, and then exhale, bend your knees, come into chair pose with hands in prayer. Take a deep inhale there, and then exhale, twist to the right. So the left elbow comes to the outside of the right knee. Breathe into the belly, feel that twist. Inhale, back to center, bend the knees, deepen your chair pose. And then exhale, twist to the left, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Breathe into the belly. Sit a little deeper. Inhale back to center. Keep the knees bent. And then exhale forward fold. Release the head down and slowly straighten the legs. forward fold if you choose if you'd like be free bend the knees and with an inhale very slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae exhale bring the hands into prayer at the heart to tree pose, getting into some balancing poses. So the left foot is going to be your, your standing foot or your tree trunk. And we'll bring the right foot either below the knee or above the knee, grounding into the left leg. Hands come into prayer. Eyes are open, focusing forward. Inhale and bring the arms up by the ears. And exhale, open the arms out to the sides, palms facing up. Hold it here and breathe. Inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, glide the hands to the heart. Hold it here, take a deep inhale. And then exhale, release. Take a few deep breaths here and then ground the right leg. Feel the right foot growing roots. Pick up your left foot. Try to match what you did on the other side. Bring the hands into prayer. Slow, deep breathing. Centering and grounding. And when we're ready, arms come up overhead and slowly open. back up overhead. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale here. 
and then exhale, release your leg back down, relax the arms at your sides. Slow, deep breathing. Open your feet about as wide as your mat, toes turning out. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale, slowly bend the knees. We'll come into a yogic squat, malasana pose. Bring the hands into prayer. And as you inhale, press your elbows into your legs and feel that open the legs a little more, lengthen the spine, and then slowly release. So bring your hands behind you and come to a seated position. Now inhale and sit up nice and tall with the hands cupping the knees. Take a few deep breaths here. Next inhale, come into half boat pose, Ardha Navasana. So we're gonna lift the feet so the feet are parallel with the knees. Keep the length in the spine. Breathe into the belly. And then slowly release. Now bring the hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards the body, and we'll inhale into reverse table. So lift your hips up to the sky. Hold, stretch and then with an exhale, release. Again, let's inhale, come into half boat pose, Ardha Navasana, really strengthen the core. Hold and breathe. And with an exhale, release, bring your hands down behind you. Inhale into reverse table, really lift the hips up. Feel that stretch. And an exhale brings us back down. Slowly open the knees, keep the soles of the feet together, coming into bound angle pose. Now let's just softly fold over the legs. Your elbows can be on the calf muscles and we can kind of press the legs open. Or we can extend the arms in front of us and release down into the stretch. Stay with the breath. and slow and exhale slowly bring your knees back together inhale sit tall and then exhale slowly round onto your back extend your legs arms to your sides palms facing up relax the body completely to a seated position and complete the practice giving thanks expressing our gratitude for everything we have in our lives expressing our gratitude for this practice for finding yoga for being yoga Thank you.